Welcome, let's use the tangent ratio to find sides in a right triangle. Given the triangle on the left, we want to find out the measurement of the side AB. We always want to start by identifying what's the reference angle, which in this case, notice that that will be angle C. That is the angle that we have information on. Now let's label our triangle using the reference angle. The side that is opposite to 90 degrees, that's the hypotenuse. The side that is opposite to our reference angle, that's the opposite side. And the side that is next to the reference angle, it's our adjacent. And now we can think of this of what do we have and what do we want. We have the value of the adjacent. And we want the value of the opposite. And remembering that tangent is defined as the ratio between opposite and adjacent, that the numerator in this ratio is what we want, and the denominator on this ratio is what we have. So now it's a matter of just plugging in this information. If we evaluate tangent with our reference angle, the numerator in a ratio is the opposite, which we have it as x, and the denominator in a ratio is the adjacent, which we have it as 15. And now our objective is to solve for x. This expression of tangent of 48, it is a number. We're gonna treat it as such. To make the next step more clear, Instead of writing as tangent, let's write it out as tangent over one. And by doing this, we can see that our next step is cross multiplication. So one times x is just x. And now we're gonna multiply 15 times the tangent of 48. We can simplify this expression because on the left, one times x is just x. And 15 times tangent of 48, let's just write this down as 15 tangent of 48. Once we have this expression, we can use our calculator to find the value of it. So let's get our calculator. We need to make sure that our angle is in degree mode. So we're gonna press this button that says mode, and we wanna make sure that it's on the degrees. Notice that it's on the radian, so let's go down. And once that is blinking on the radian, let's press the right button, and now we're gonna be on the degree, and we're gonna press enter. Now the calculator is gonna read it as degree mode. Now let's press second, quit. Now that we know that it's under degree mode, let's write down this expression. 15 tangent 48. The tangent button, you can find it in here. So we're gonna press 15, then tangent, and inside the parentheses, let's place down 48. Let's close the parentheses. Now let's press enter. And here we have our answer. So because we wanna express our answer, to the nearest thing, let's express it as 16.7. Let's take a look at another example. Let's approach this example as we did before. Let's start by identifying our reference angle with a measurement of 15 degrees. And let's label our triangle based on this reference angle. The side that is opposite to 90 degrees, that's our hypotenuse. The side that is opposite to our reference angle, that's the opposite side. And the side that is next to our reference angle, that's our adjacent side. Now let's think about what do we want and what do we have. We have information about the opposite side. And we want to find the measurement of the adjacent side. We can see that under tension, the numerator is the value that we have, and the denominator is the value of what we want. So we can use the tangent ratio for this example. Now let's plug this information. The tangent evaluated at 15 degrees. It is equal to the opposite, which is what we have, which is 12. Divided by the adjacent, which is what we want. Let's call it x. Instead of writing tangent of 15, let's write as tangent of 15 over one. And now we can see that the next step is cross multiplication. So let's multiply one times 12. And let's multiply the tangent of 15 times x. But this expression of tangent of 15, it is a number. So we're gonna treat it as if it was a number. Under multiplication, 
if we want to get rid of this number, we got to do the opposite. So we're going to divide by tangent of 15. And now we have isolated x, and x is going to be equivalent to 1 times 12, which is 12, divided by the number of tangent of 15. Let's find this value using our calculator. Let's start by placing the numerator as 12. Now let's divide, and in the division, let's place the whole expression in a big parenthesis. So we're going to start by opening a parenthesis, then pressing the tangent button, and inside the tangent, we're going to evaluate with 15. This first parenthesis, it's closing the inside of the tangent. So we need to place a second parenthesis so that it closes the whole denominator. And now that we have the whole denominator in a big parenthesis, let's press enter. And here we have our result, 44.78. But because we want to express our answers to the nearest end, let's write this down as 44.8. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.